All right, today I'm making grape jelly with some old grape juice from last year. Um, yesterday we went and picked a couple bushels of Concord grapes at a local vineyard and I'm going to work those into, I'm gonna steam them into grape juice. So I'm wanting to get rid of some of last year's grape juice and we're out of grape jelly, so I'm gonna make some homemade grape jelly with my Pomona's pectin. I'm actually using the recipe out of preserving with Pomona's pectin, which is pretty much the same recipe that you would get in the package of Pomona um, in the box. This is a fairly easy recipe. You basically just boil your juice, you add your sugar and your pectin and lemon juice and uh, put it in jars and water process it. So it's really easy. And then I'm probably gonna be steaming some grapes into juice as well in this video. Um, I've been saving these special, um, they're three quarter pint jars for the grape jelly because we eat a little bit more grape jelly than we do any other kind. So I kind of wanted just a slightly bigger jar. And I've been holding on to these for the past, probably the past year, just waiting. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get going. I gotta get my jars washed and uh, get the water canner going and get the grape juice boil, or the, yeah, the grape juice boiling. So these are the jars I'm gonna be using. I've got four of them. I'm either gonna triple or quadruple the recipe. I'll see how much pectin I have um, and we'll go from there. pectin's recipe. The first thing I'm going to do is put all my juice in my pan and I'm going to try to quadruple this recipe. I think I have enough pectin and I don't want to have to make it again for a while so I'm hoping this pot is big enough. I don't know if it will be. We'll see. I gotta measure. Down, Melissa. I'll go ahead and put that in my pot. juice, I've got to add lemon juice and calcium water. So for the lemon juice, I'm going to need a whole cup of lemon juice. Normally it would be a quarter cup, but since I'm quadrupling it, we're going to add a whole cup. really excited when I went to Costco last week and they had these bottles of just 100% lemon juice. Nothing else in them, just lemon juice. I was pretty excited about that. All right, so add that cup of lemon juice. And normally we would have to add about four teaspoons of calcium water. Since I'm quadrupling it, it's 16 teaspoons, which is a third of a cup. What the calcium water does is it helps the pectin be able to gel the jelly. I 
have just enough. All right, just give that a good mixing and then I'm gonna put it on the stove and heat it to a full boil while I mix the sugar and pectin in a separate dish. We're gonna mix the sugar and the pectin in a separate bowl. I like this pectin because you don't have to use as much sugar with it. I really like that. So I'm using a quarter of the sugar that I would use in a normal batch of jam with either other pectin or without pectin. So I'm pretty excited about that. So normally it'd be one cup of sugar, but since I'm quadrupling it, we're gonna do four. This pectin, you can order it straight from the company. You might be able to find it at a local health food store. Um, I found it at Natural Grocers and it's also on Amazon. I'll put the link to Amazon in the, cap in the caption below the video. All right, I'm gonna add that to my sugar. You just have to mix that up. That's ready to go. I'm gonna turn the heat up on this because it says to uh, bring it to a full rolling boil on high heat. So I'll just have to stir it to keep it from burning. All right, it is boiling. I'm gonna gradually pour in that sugar mixture and get that stirred in. for about 15 minutes in the water bath and then uh, let them sit for five minutes and rest afterward and then move them to the towels on my countertop to sit for 24 hours and that's it.
salad. I've got just a little bit that I put in a dish. Look at that, it looks great. This was underneath all the foam that I skimmed off. But it looks delicious. I'm gonna spread it on my toast. Nice and spreadable. Oh, that looks so good. Let's go ahead and try it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And Zeke is going to love this because grape jelly is his absolute favorite. Now I'm making grape juice and I'm going to get my steamer going. I have, I'm just going to turn the phone around. I have, this is the top of the steamer. This is where the juice comes out into your jars. Um, and you can clamp it shut when you're not pouring juice into jars. And here's the rest of the steamer right here. The water's boiling. I'll put the steamer part on top of that. And then I'll put my grapes inside the steamer basket and they'll steam for an hour or maybe a little longer. And then we'll put the juice in jars. And you just keep that process going for as long as you need to for however many grapes you have. It's gonna be a while for me, probably could be halfway through the night because we got way too many grapes yesterday. Um, but I am using the Nor Pro Juicer Steamer Cooker. I think I ordered it on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the caption below the video. But I'm just making their grape juice recipe. It's, it's literally just grapes. And uh, I don't put any sugar in it or anything. It doesn't need it. It's really good without anything else added to it. I will probably water bath mine. You don't have to according to the book because grapes are very acidic, but I will probably water bath mine just to be safe. Three jars exactly. Impressive.
really great for somewhere on this road. Almost 3 a.m. and we are just about done and I'm ready for bed. So I pretty much worked on grapes from about 11 o'clock. Well, I worked on grape jelly before that, but then grape juice from about 11 o'clock till about 5 when we had to leave for 4-H. And then we came home and started right back in and ate a quick dinner. Not a very good dinner, but a quick dinner. So far in the cabinet we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 quarts. I think we have a few in the canner and we have a few left to fill yet. You want to go to bed Chuck? Hey.